Welcome, foolish mortals, to another episode of the Hitchhiking Host Show 101. <laughs> I am your ghost host, Wes Truth, and once again we are here to talk about Disney history. And we're still walking right down the middle of Main Street, USA at 1955 Disneyland. Uh, so, we've covered a lot of topics on Main Street, USA. If you haven't seen the videos, Disneyland Railroad... The buildings of Main Street, the Main Street vehicles, uh, the Main Street cinema, and also the Plaza Pavilion restaurant, which now, today, is known as the Jolly Holiday Bakery. Now, today, we're going to talk about a little more of the history of a restaurant right across from the Jolly Holiday Bakery. Uh, today, you'll know it as the Plaza Inn, uh, but if you went back in the day, you might have known it as the Red Wagon Inn. So let's hit it, shall we? <laughs> One of the most well-known table service restaurants at Disneyland today is the Plaza Inn. Back in Disneyland's early years, the restaurant was known by a different name, the Red Wagon Inn. Walt liked the idea of having the restaurant, as well as the Plaza Pavilion, at the end of Main Street, USA, so guests could enjoy a meal before or after they began their adventures in the different lands. The restaurant was sponsored by the Swift Premium Meat Company, who also sponsored the Market House on Main Street and the Frontierland Chicken Plantation House Restaurant. The establishment got its name from Swift Premium Meat Company's logo, which was a red horse-drawn delivery wagon. Walt's wife Lillian designed the restaurant with tur turn-of-the-century furnishings and mementos from the 1890s. The restaurant's leaded cut glass entrance doors back panel of the lobby and stained glass ceiling were taken from the mansion at 20 St. James Park in Los Angeles. This mansion was built in 1870 and was one of the most luxurious houses in the area. Walt purchased the mansion and removed the hand-carved paneling, grand stairway, stained glass, and new old posts and used them for the Red Wagon Inn. The restaurant boasted four dining rooms. Two would be open to the public and were known as the Gold Room and Green room. The other two were known as secret dining rooms. The first was called the In-Between, which was a cast member only dining room and the first employee cafeteria. It was also located in between Main Street USA and Tomorrowland. The other dining room has been known as the Hideout or Hideaway. This was a private area near the rear of the Red Wagon Inn where Walt entertained his friends and business partners. The room included a wet bar and at the time was the only place in Disneyland to have alcohol. The area has a private entrance as well and its own bathroom. Years later, this secret area became a Goodyear Hospitality Center and later would turn into offices. The area was destroyed in 1999 after a refurbishment of the restaurant. The Red Wagon Inn was an opening day restaurant on July 17, 1955 and was the top place to eat as it was the only restaurant to serve full course dinners. It was also Walt's personal favorite. The inn served breakfast, lunch, and dinner. The breakfast menu included a choice of one or two ranch eggs, cereal, or hotcakes. Popular meals for the rest of the day included chicken pot pie, Swiss steak, young tom turkey, pork chops, spaghetti with meat sauce, and premium steaks. The most expensive item at the time was the Swift's Premium New York Steak, which cost $4.25. And those were the days. <laughs> when Swift's lease ran out, Walt had Imagineer John Hench redesign the building into a cafeteria-style restaurant. It reopened as the Plaza Inn on July 18, 1965. You can still find a tribute to the Red Wagon Inn today, as there was a little red wagon placed next door as a tribute to Walt's favorite restaurant, which today serves corn dogs and beverages. The Plaza Inn became a popular go-to destination at Disneyland and would receive another refurbishment a few decades later. 
The restaurant reopened on June 18, 1999 with additions of crystal chandeliers, themed soda fountain, and an enclosed patio. Today, you can make a reservation for a character breakfast called Minnie and Friends Breakfast in the Park. The menu includes Mickey waffles, French toast, biscuits and gravy, scrambled eggs, and more. Of course, Minnie Mouse and a few other characters come around for meet and greets during the meal. For lunch and dinner, you can enjoy fried chicken, penny pasta, pot roast, salads, along with a variety of other options. While it's changed quite a bit over the years, the Plaza Inn still remains one of the most popular places to eat in Disneyland. Yes, uh, I can't say I've eaten there. Um, I ha just never got a chance to eat there yet. Um, but it seems like they have good food. Um, the menu sounds good. Uh, I see a lot of people there for the character breakfast. Um, you can see it's a it's a pretty busy place. Uh, you definitely need reservations for the character breakfast. There are no reservations for dinner. Um, but yeah, you know you see the people out on the patio eating. Uh, usually, I go to the Jolly Holiday right across the the way there, right next door to the Plaza Inn. Um, but yeah, it's basically you see both people outside on both. <laughs> um, but yeah, I I think I was looking to use the bathroom right next to the Plaza Inn when I was making my grand circle tour of the bathrooms um, when I was sick the last day I was in Disneyland, and I just saw a humongous line near that bathroom because it was near the Plaza Inn. Um, so I've heard the food's good there. Um, so I'll definitely be checking it out sometime in the near future. Um, hopefully on the next trip or a trip after. Uh, that's on my list of places to eat. Um, so if you want to check out more about the Plaza Inn, look into it. Go there and uh, have a good dinner. All right. Well, I hope you all enjoyed the episode. I'll be back with another Hitchhiking Host 101 soon. Uh, where I think we're going to finally finish up Main Street uh, in 1955. With one more episode, and then we're going to jung adventure into Adventureland and the Jungle Cruise. Woo! I can't wait. Um, so, um, and I'll be back with another Hitchhiking Host show uh, where we talk about all the trending topics going on in the Disney parks, Universal, whatever. So, uh, until next time, don't forget to subscribe right here on YouTube. YouTube.com slash Show. You can listen to the show, or if you are listening, thank you, um, you can listen on Podbean. It's hitchhostshow.podbean.com. You can like the Facebook page, facebook.com slash hitchhostshow. Follow on the Twitter, at hitchhostshow, and the Instagram is also hitchhostshow. And you can listen to the show on iTunes and uh, Stitcher as well. So... Until next time, don't forget to... Hurry back. Hurry back. For the next episode. See ya.